In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Epson Workforce Pro WF 4820, 4830, or any other models that are modern like this one with your Mac computer. It's very easy since Epson is using AirPrint to connect to your Mac. Therefore, you don't need to install any drivers. It should just work in a few minutes. So let me show you how this is done. The first step is to actually connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network. This is the main menu of your printer. If you're not seeing this, you need to press on the house icon over here so you get on the main menu screen. Then the third option from the top over here, you see there's a Wi-Fi logo. Press on it once. You're gonna have multiple options. We need to select the first one. Wi-Fi recommended. Start setup. Select Wi-Fi wizard, the first option. It will scan for all the Wi-Fi networks around you. So at home or if you're at the office, it will select, if it will show you every single network that are around the printer. And now you just have, just like on any touch screen, to go and select your actual Wi-Fi network from this list. Now it's time to enter the password. Go down, press on enter and type your password. If you have numbers in your password, press this number button down below to switch. Once you're done typing the password, press OK and select Start Setup. Wait a few seconds or sometimes even a minute. Make sure that the printer is in the range of your Wi-Fi network. At the end, you're going to get this blue check mark saying that everything is done properly and that and that the printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi. Then on your Mac computer, depending if you have a newer OS or if you're running an older one like I do, you need to go over here where you see the Mac logo, click on it, click down and select system preferences. This will open. Now, if you have a newer Mac, it should look like this and you should click where the arrow is pointing. If you have this older Mac, well, just click on printer and scanners right over there. If you have a newer Mac, you should click right where the arrow is pointing. Again, uh, check the screenshot. If you have one of these older Macs, well, click on this plus symbol located right over there to add a new printer. Then select your Epson printer from the list. Here it is. And click the add button on the lower right side. Wait a few seconds and it will be added to your printer list. Open any document on your Mac that you want to print. Go on files up there, top left corner. Go down and select print the last option. Over here under printer, select your Epson printer if it's not already selected. Make sure that all the settings down below are accurate. So if the paper size is the one that you're going to actually use, if it's portrait landscape, this is depending what kind of project you're trying to print. And when you're done, press print. Here we go. Our page got printed and by default it prints on both sides of the paper. You can also select obviously on the computer if you don't want this to happen. Great. Now what if you want to scan something and send it to your Mac computer? Open the scan lid. Okay, this was already there. But let's say I want to scan this page over here. Put it facing down with the text, the top of the page on the left side gonna notice there is a small arrow here glide the page so the corner of the page touches the corner with the arrow close the lid on your Mac computer we need to go back where we were so system preferences printer and scanners 
select your printer over here in this list and then you have a scan tab over here you need to click on scan and then open scanner this will open wait a few seconds it will give you a preview of what it's on the scanner it won't save it perfect and now on the right side you need to select different settings if it in color or not the resolution if you're scanning a picture artwork something that you want the maximum details well make sure it's at 1200 dpi if you're scanning text like the document you see there i suggest 200 or 300 i found that 100 dpi is not enough even for text so i'll select 200 custom size you can uncheck it select the size of your paper in this case it's a us letter size make sure that you're okay with the other settings over here so where the scan will be saved mine is on the desktop you can give this a new name name it whatever you want to do the format well depending what you're scanning you're going to choose the right format if it's a picture i'm pretty sure you're going to select jpeg if it's a, a text file pdf is what is mostly used and over here you also have combine into a single document in this case you can scan multiple times and as long as you do not change the name of the file your pdf file can have hundreds of pages you can scan one after another and all the pages will be combined in one document but i don't want that for now and i'll press the scan button when i'm ready it'll take a few seconds if you're scanning at a higher dpi it may take even a few minutes but at 200 dpi usually after 15 seconds or less the file should be scanned all right already done and you see over here it got saved on my desktop if you want to use the top document feeder of this scanner you see this is the top document feeder which is a another scanner if you have multiple pages let's say i have two three 15 pages i'll align them make sure everything is okay put them face put them this time facing up like that insert them and the only difference on your mac is over here scan mode instead of flat bed select document feeder and then press scan and the printer will take all the pages one by one do not touch anything it will scan automatically so i hope my video was helpful if so please leave a like check my amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get some paper some ink or maybe even a new printer since uh, this is supporting my channel, thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.